Hilarious, eccentric, and fiercely loyal, Spencer Shea has always been one of iCarly's most beloved characters. From starting fires to playing pranks, he sends us into hysterics as soon as he comes on screen. Welcome and welcome back to the number one home for film and television lovers everywhere. Today we're going to be taking a look at Spencer as he embarks on the next chapter of his life in iCarly's newest trailer. Still wacky? Still wild? You betcha! Except this time around, fans are getting a look at the kinds of changes that are in store. The Spencer of 2021 is certainly older, looking a little more rugged with his longer and shaggier hair, but his affinity for button-up shirts and his fun-loving smile remain exactly the same. Paramount Plus kicks off the nostalgia with a few clips from iCarly's original run before diving right into a sneak peek at the brand new revival itself. In these initial throwback clips, fans get to reminisce over Spencer's habit of setting everything on fire and his signature spaghetti tacos. And in one of the snippets of an episode from iCarly Revival, who doesn't recognize that reference to the iconic Baby Lumpley? What? Wait a minute! Nobody mentioned ketchup at the creative meeting! Spencer isn't the exact same person we knew all those years ago. After all, he's finally saying damn it instead of dang it, and we even catch him drinking beer. We'll help however we can. I'm really glad to hear you say that. Damn it. But at his core, he's still the same spirited and funny guy that we've loved for the past 10 years. And of course, knowing him, there's no doubt he will still be getting into plenty of shenanigans. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our channel now and join us in laughing over Spencer's hilarious antics. How is Spencer Shea different in iCarly Revival? How is he the same? While Carly seems to be taking all the weight of being an internet sensation and Freddy is navigating the dating scene, it seems like fans can count on Spencer's character to stay mostly the same, whether it be tasering himself, posing in a bathrobe, or dancing in a neon orange headband and sunglasses, Spencer provides us both comic relief and the reassurance that not everything has changed. In a way, he's not only iCarly's funniest character, but he's also its most comforting. The trailer only shows a brief overview of what the characters are like now, but we've got our fingers crossed on getting to see more Spencer action. Does he ever return to law? Is he still an artist? Is he still making sculptures out of butter and yo-yos? If anything, I think we can all agree he'd make a great stand-up comedian if he ever decides on a career change. He's certainly successful now, even though he struggled financially in the original run of iCarly. In an exclusive clip featuring Miranda Cosgrove and Jerry Trainer, the two actors reveal that Spencer is now actually quite wealthy. And from the glimpses that we've gotten from the trailer thus far, Spencer has come a long way from being a law school dropout or a struggling artist. He's remodeled his apartment to look tastefully modern and even more colorful. For example, he's bought himself a new couch, lovely throw pillows, and some sleek new lamp. Comment below to point out other design differences in Spencer's loft and kitchen. While Spencer's interior design choices are still kooky and vibrant, it seems like much of his old apartment decor is now a thing of the past. According to the actors, the set designers of iCarly did make sure to leave some familiar contraptions lying around. One such contraption is Spencer's Bottle Bot, a sculpture he made in the iPilot episode back in 2007. Seen frequently throughout the show, Bottle Bot will be making a reappearance in the iCarly revival. Fun fact! This bottle bot is a recreation of the original, since the original sculpture is now being housed in the Smithsonian. While Spencer is generally viewed as the comedic persona who draws most of the show's laughs, fans are probably wondering if the show will explore deeper sides to his character in the first season of the revival. The sitcom is intended for an older audience, as many viewers are probably young adults who grew up watching iCarly, meaning that the show will most likely introduce more complex and mature themes. It would definitely be interesting to see what's come of Spencer's love life, considering the long string of girlfriends he had during the original run of iCarly. The new trailer and its actors alike have been surprisingly vague about Spencer's relationship status and current lifestyle, instead teasing Creddy and revealing to Entertainment Tonight that Freddy now has a kid. Do you guys think that the show is hiding a big surprise about Spencer's life? What kind of surprise do you think it might be? There are some things we're hoping the show resolves too. We're especially wondering how Spencer's relationship has changed with his dad since Carly left. It broke our hearts when Colonel Steve and Shay came home from the Air Force and she had to leave, and Spencer must have missed her presence in the apartment as well. Dad! Let's go. Oh my god. Do you want to see Spencer settle down? 
were confident that he would be a great and fun-loving dad. As seen in the comments section of the trailer released on Paramount Plus's YouTube channel, most fans are super excited about Spencer's older self, laughing and raving about his swearing and drinking, things we would have never expected to see in the old iCarly when it was still being written for young kids. A majority of fans are eager to see how Jerry Trainer takes advantage of the looser restrictions on language and behavior and explores his newfound potential for raunchier humor. However, there are some fans who are a little more hesitant about what these loose restrictions might mean for children who may also want to watch the show. Some people, especially parents, fear that their own kids will adopt the same patterns of speech and behavior that are seen in the show. Fortunately, iCarly has made it clear that the revival is aimed more towards older audiences, such as teenagers and young adults, so that people who are not comfortable with more mature humor know what they're getting into. That being said, we're all personally very glad that Spencer has had the freedom to continue making all of us laugh. In a time when many of us are still stuck at home due to COVID-19 restrictions, TV is our main source of joy and entertainment. Throughout the pandemic, people have definitely been lounging on the couch trying to find new TV shows to binge watch, and thanks to the iCarly revival, they've now got one to keep them occupied. Sometimes all we need is a little bit of old school humor, and a lot of the new comedy shows released within the past few years, well, funny, just aren't the same as 2000s classics like iCarly, Sam and Cat, Victorious, or other such popular sitcoms that ended a decade ago. We seriously miss those iconic Spencer Shea quotes and inside jokes, such as, I may be an idiot, but I'm not stupid. I may be an idiot, <laughs> but I'm not stupid. These pants are squeezing me in ways you can't understand. And does he make it to Banana Land? After all, no character can really replace Spencer Shea. So in a couple of weeks, just sit back, relax, pull up iCarly, and hit play. Even though there's a lot we still don't know about what's going to happen in this brand new season of iCarly, there's one thing that all fans can count on. Spencer's humor and wit to carry us through the good, the bad, and the in-between. If there's one thing we've learned from him besides how to make a spoon hat or how to set things on fire, it's how to enjoy life even when things are looking down. Spencer finds humor in everything, and where there is none, he creates it himself. Sure, he's quirky, and yeah, he's definitely a bit weird. But is he also a breath of fresh air that everyone needs? Oh, absolutely. So, are you antsy about having to wait so long for the show to air? Well, no worries, because the wait won't last much longer. The revival of iCarly premieres in just a couple of weeks, so don't get too upset about having to stay home just yet. Even if the world around us has changed a lot this past year, some things always stay the same just like our love for iCarly and Spencer Shea. What's your favorite Spencer quote? What do you think will happen to his character in the first season? Is he still the funniest guy you've ever seen on screen? Let us know what you think in the comments section, and if you enjoyed this video, then give us a big thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one.